Hello, everybody. Welcome to Payday 3. This is like 10, 20 minutes after they release. Uh, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, 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 stop. I can't. This is minutes after they release the new DLC. Here's hoping their servers don't crash. I'm recording it because I don't have time to stream right now before I go to work. But I'm gonna look at this because I forgot to do it in the video. And then we're gonna look at the next video. And then we're gonna play the heist. seems to have gotten a makeover. Huh. What does this do? Don't touch that. For fuck's sake. No, thank you for saving my ass. It's good to be back. Thanks. You did save my ass. And it is good to be back. Now, from what you told me, this fucking guy Concord needs to be dealt with. Oh, he's a fucker, all right. But he's not dumb. Shell corporations, proxies, slush funds. He's done a damn good job of insulating himself. Ever since you wiped out Murky Water, he's slowly been building up a war chest. And he managed to get Treaty up and running, though on a smaller scale so far. Treaty. Let me guess. It's more of a PR-friendly version of a PMC. I hear those kinds of outfits have a very cuddly veneer these days. Ah, good to know you didn't drink and gamble your brains out, at least. Oh, well, fuck you very much. Treaty brands itself as a crisis aid and security consultant firm. But in reality, they're even worse than murky water. They run drugs, deal in blood diamonds, and help corporations strip natural resources illegally. You name it, and they've done it. But it's impossible to find verifiable proof. As we can't deal with Concord head on, we're looking for some way to hit him out of left field. And hopefully, bleed all that cash into our own pockets. It's a bit like trying to win against a casino. You can't really do it. The house always wins if you play by the rules. But what if we rob the house? You're talking about the actual source of his money. Yes. All these companies loan against equity and then make a profit when their investments pay off. But it's all digital. And if we mess with that surgically, we'll have Concord by the balls. And we'll make a hefty sum. I hope this doesn't mean we'll be sitting on our hands and we'll have to watch you fuck around with the computer. <laughs> Don't worry about that. You'll get your hands dirty. And this one? It's a doozy. Make a four. The time to make. All right, Joy. Break it down for us. Concord needs one last financial push to get Treaty on the murky level. To do that, he's taking on some big ass loans based on the equity of shares he has in certain companies. We're talking major corporations here. Concord owns stock in some, others are silent backers. So, no cold hard cash. It's all digital. And I'm guessing you found a way to fuck with that. If we can get inside the New York Financial Exchange, hook right into their system, we can do some serious damage. A little trolling here, some pumping up there. Bing bang boom, Concord goes into the red. He'll have no money, no backing, and all of his powerful friends turn into pissed off enemies. I'd rather lock him in a room with Wolf for a couple hours. But, since Concord's off the grid, I guess this is the next best thing. How about our wallets? Revenge is its own reward, but it would be a shame to leave Wall Street empty-handed. Way ahead of you. I've set up an AI algorithm to target stocks we know will go up when the companies we mess with go down. All the investments are in place, and when they reach a certain level, the program will auto sell at transferring the profits into our account. That's exactly how I thought this would go. I miss the days when all you needed were some guns, <clears throat> some guts, and a drill. How's the security in this place? Security's tight at the exchange on a good day, and it's even worse than usual. How come? We hit a police station and the judicial court. The whole city's on high alert. They've added biometrics, personnel ID checks, all kinds of things. You can still do this quiet, but you'll need to go in masked up. Finger on the trigger, ready for anything. Good thing we like a challenge. Okay, so, so I don't know if we're stealing any loot here per se, but this one looks fun. It looks big. It looks expansive, and I'm excited for it. And then, um, as well, I kind of wish the payout was a 
look, the pale looks kind of slim, though I wish it was bigger because we'd be absolutely ravaging the stock market. But we'll see. I may have to go into the solo. I don't know if anyone else is on right now, but we will see. We will see. We're going to take a look at the new weapons, the new shotgun, and the new Deagle pistol right now at the moment. I'm really excited about the Deagle. Getting a mag fed hyper damage weapon seems really fun. They're already in game, very sad, so I'm not going to be able to start from the beginning, but that's okay. I'll just keep running it until I do. Oh my god. Oh yeah. They scored on this weapon pack already. They gave me a deagle, finally. And it slaps with those headshots. I'm packing this now from, from now on instead of the bullfrog. That revolver is mad damage, but this deagle is so... It's got a fast fire rate, its recoil's not bad. One-shot headshots with ease. Like, dude, this doesn't feel like nerfed at all. Kind of excited for this gun because it's giving me flashbacks to the shotgun in Payday 2. A little bit. Although I'm a little sad because I've been grinding out shotguns a lot lately for level ups. I do not know what's happening right now. I just know it's a slaughterhouse out there. Apparently, I accidentally hit a... Can I have that? I don't know what civilians I'm killing, but... Also playing as Houston. I've run out of C stacks trying to They're shooting me through the computer, it hurts. The shotgun's got some heft to it. Like, it feels a lot stronger than the other pump shotgun. They're above me. They got a bit of a blue light filter here. I'm gonna inspect my Deagle real quick. Oh my god, they murdered that bulldozer with the minigun. I honestly didn't expect it to actually melt like that. You're fighting a dozer. I'm running out of shield. You can have that bag if you want. Here's what I don't like that I've noticed a little bit with the way that they like to set up their scenes. And by that I mean set up like these areas. They'll. Bomb, bomb. They'll put like filters in these areas. That's like so unnecessary. We don't need these mega filters. And a lot of that can be said about the lighting, but like this blue 
great gradient is everywhere. That's for the map itself. I'm already cool with it, I think. We've got two holdout areas. See, look, this is the regular lighting. Yeah, I can see my gun in this lighting. I like, in the the way it actually like looks. We're out of armor, great. I ran up here for nothing. Ooh, I got that overhill. I can't prone. This is this is more like it, honestly. It's not all closed in. There's a bunch of like open areas where you actually have to like duck into and hide away. Compared to uh, the la to Houston Breakout, where it's all just enclosed. So what ends up happening is you just end up melting every- you end up fighting, uh, to DPS check everybody. I mean, of course you hold out at the evidence areas, but like, it doesn't feel intense, you know? I feel like they kicked up the spawns on this. I'm gonna be back here in about five seconds. You know what I kind of want? Now that they've added another shotgun and it's a much more potent, like, pump action. I kind of want them to add ammo types back to the game. At least the slug. How is your screen not broken? I've literally blasted you. Go get to see the preview of the heist. Oh, we start on the roof. Oh wow! So you don't even get to go in with the mask. Oh wow! So you you start up on the roof and you start masked up. That's something unique. We haven't had a heist like that yet, where you can still stealth it and be masked. It sounds it sounds like I'm impressed by that. I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm not, but it's interesting. Like it's different. Well, this thing's got fast fire rate to it. Ooh, I slipped into the wrong area. It's not bad. Uh, yeah, it's not a bad pistol by any means. It just takes one extra annoying shot to hit in order to really deal some damage. Tap headshot. I hope to finish this up a little bit before I have to leave. That way I can get at least a little bit of something to eat before I have to go to work. <laughs> this system is fucking ancient. It wants us to input some old transaction numbers. From what I can tell, they're recorded on printouts around the office. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. With my skills being able to retain my ammo consistency, I'm actually quite slapping with this pistol. 
Like, holy cow, what? If I'm feeling something, I guess, different, compact, fast firing, this might be my secondary go-to. It used to be the the Uzi, the, or the like, Mac-10 they just dropped, but this one feels kind of nice. It's not as, like, fast firing as that other one, but it's got the, the like, the hit difference. I broke. I also forgot to switch to the minigun again. We saw a little bit of that earlier though, so no, no biggie. I got at least some footage of it. Holy cow, I actually did not think this thing would be as good as it is. I was expecting, like, an M9, like, this is a combination of the M9 and the Glock, except it's got the damage of the M9, but the fire rate of the Glock. And it's nice. I got you, don't worry. I'm literally down to one health. This is like actually a dead stew. They definitely crank the spawns on this. What is going on? Oh, smoke. Got it, okay. Kinda wish those wooden doors were shoot through. <clears throat> okay, they made a reference to the silver ballers, which are not deagles, they're M9s. I kinda wish they put that reference on this gun instead. Like this would feel a lot more like a hitman weapon than the deagle. Although it could be, it's, it's also possible it's not a reference, it's just something I'm concluding. But you know. Just a heads up if you haven't uh, paid attention, or weren't paying attention at the beginning of this. Uh, I do stream, uh, I'm probably going to be streaming this because uh, guess what, Payday 3 has got some more Twitch drops, so I'll be doing that as well as uh, just running some quick play and leveling up some of this new DLC stuff that we got. I'm just using this over the shotgun because this has at least, like, the range I can take care of these guys at. This thing is just absolutely handling itself. There we go. Now we got it. We, we stole it off of somebody. We're good. Can't crouch with it. Can only spin and shoot it. Oh my god, he stumbled. Okay, I need that. Ah, I tried. I tried to grab it and then uh, use it. I couldn't do it in time. Use it to shut down the exchange. 
Damn, bro, the cloaker. Anywho, thank you all for watching. I've run out of time. This was my first impression of the DLC. I will be back next time to hopefully be the heist. Um, yeah, I'm a bit of a mess right now because I am trying to figure out a way to end this nicely and I can't figure it out. Anywho, I'll see you guys in the next one. Whatever I do.